guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am here for the April Beacon Book Box unboxing. This is one of my favorite boxes to get every month. And can I just say, I still love their new boxes. They're like slightly bluer. They still have like the wood grain. I just, I like this. I get excited seeing this on my doorstep when it arrives. So I don't need to give intro on this. You guys know the deal. All the info will be in the description. You can always use Chelsea 5 to save on anything. Um, they announced they're doing a Five Dark Fates special edition box come, what is that, November? Late fall, we're gonna have so many special edition boxes from them. You can use my rep code on that if you're considering it. Just tossing it out there. But that's not the box we're getting into. We're getting into April today, and I believe the theme for this was Unlikely Allies. I love the uh, theme art for it. Look how cute it is. Is that adorable? Like, look at all your little companions. This is precious. Okay, so obviously, you guys know, this is what it looks like. It's got some squiggles and some stuff in there. The first thing, okay, okay, hold on. I'm real excited. Um, I believe they pack stuff in a random order. So we've got this whole thing coming out all at once. So this is, oh gosh, I don't wanna crease it. This is the book sleeve, a dust jacket, and the book. So let's get into this stuff first. We're gonna go in a weird order. So they announced that they are starting to do exclusive dust jackets and these exclusive dust jackets are going to be for previously released books so it's not going to be like owl crate where they have like an exclusive dust jacket for like the book that you're getting this is going to be like a collectible item and oh my god okay okay look at this this it looks incomplete right now i am going to put a picture on the screen of what the complete series is going to look like so this is a dust jacket for the first book in the lunar chronicles which is cinder obviously look at it look how good this artwork looks hold on i gotta i gotta look at the spoiler card who is the artist for this um cat adara okay yeah i knew that because i follow her on instagram I will leave her linked down below, but her artwork is just like stunning. So look at Cinder and Kai. And like I said, um, with the picture that you saw, this is going to say like the Lunar Chronicles across all of the spines. Oh, I love it. Look at the back. It has like the shoe and the moon. Oh, it says Jacket by Cat Adara right there. Duh. Okay. Oh, I like this book sleeve. This is possibly one of my favorite book sleeves I've gotten from them. It has little dragonflies all over it. It's this lovely like kind of tie-dye watercolor looking blue. This is honestly perfect for like this time of year and it's dark blue on the inside. Do you wanna get to the book? Let's get to the book first. We'll go back to some items later. Ooh, oh my God, look at that cover. I haven't seen this in person yet. I'll show you. <laughs> this is the book. It is We Rule the Night by Claire Eliza Bartlett. Oh my God, look at that cover. Look at that cover. Like, is that not stunning? It's like way more gold toned than I was picturing. Ooh, and look at the spine. What does it look like? Naked? There's stuff in here. Hold on, I'll get to it in a second. It's red and black with a gold spine. Um, so, oh, first of all, look at that penmanship. That's pretty nice. So that's for the author letter. And I believe, yes, this book is signed as well. They are reaching the point where they are starting to get regularly signed books, which is real exciting. Like not a book plate actually signed. So, okay, that is the book that we got in the box. This is the book sleeve. How do I, there, there we go. Sure, you can still see it a little bit, okay. Now let's get back to the items. So one of the regular things that they have started including in their box is baking with the beacons and they include a like somewhat book related recipe. So this is for Cardin Sinful Chocolate Cake. Mm, I'm gonna need to make this. I love me some Cardin. I love me some chocolate cake. This is the best of both worlds. So we have a recipe card there. We have what looks like some Shadow Hunter merch. I haven't read the Shadow Hunter anything. I haven't read any of the Cassandra Clare books, but this is some amazing artwork. And we have a matching pouch, like a matching zipper pouch, which is actually a really good size. And it's kind of like floppy, so I could actually put a lot of things in there. And if I'm not mistaken, I pretty much can recognize uh, Morgana's artwork at this point. This is Morgana O. Anagram on Instagram. I will leave her link down below. She's pretty much one of the most famous fan art artists out there. So look at those. So it's matching, matching. Okay. So we got that. I don't know how to display this stuff. It's not, it's not easily displayed this time. Ooh, is this a mouse pad? Cause I need a new mouse pad. Uh, it looks like it. People like us don't fight for our hope, we fight for everyone else's. Claire Legrand Furyborn, look how fiery that is. Actually, it's real shiny, hold on. Okay, I took it out of the plastic, but look how awesome that is. 
I really like that typography and it's all flamey and amazing and I am in dire need of a mouse pad right now so this is perfect. So this is also going to just kind of flop there on top of everything. And there's one more thing in the bottom of the box. Oh it looks like a sampler for the Red Schools of Magic. Again I haven't read any of the Shadowhunter books. Blasphemy. I know. But that can go with the little pouch and the artwork. I didn't even read the synopsis of this. Let me read real quick and I will let you guys know what this book is about because all I know is that it's beautiful. Okay, this sounds amazing. So this is following two teenage girls, I believe. We're following Revna, who is a factory worker who is manufacturing magical war machines. So this is kind of a war-torn story. But one thing that's jumping out at me, it says she's disregarded for her disability and her second class citizenship. I don't know what her disability is, but I like seeing that representation in fantasy now. But she is caught using illegal magic, which means she gets a lifetime in the prison. Um, and then we are following Lynne, Lin I think is how you say it. And she is a soldier who has disguised herself as a man to fight in the army. And when she is discovered, both her and Revna are giving a chance to reprieve their punishments um, and use their magic in a special women's military flight unit. I'm sold. That sounds so amazing. This sounds like it has so much good healthy representation in it. I'm seeing like disability rep. I'm seeing like feminist representation, which is such an ongoing thing in YA books now and I'm loving it. This sounds amazing. This sounds just as beautiful as it looks. That's going to be it for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one.